Good afternoon all. Last day we have studied about the measures of dispersion in particular mean deviation. Today we have to study about the interquartile range or quartile deviation which is denoted by Q and is equal to Q3 minus Q1 by 2 where Q3s and Q1s are the quartiles. Next we have to study about the 1090 percentile range and 1090 percentile range of a data is equal to P90 minus P10 where P90 and P10 are the 90th and 10th percentiles for the given data. Next we, we can move to problems of quartile deviation and 1090 percentile range. So first definition is semi interquartile range or quartile deviation of a set of data which is denoted by capital Q and is defined by Q is equal to Q3 minus Q1 by 2 where Q1 and Q3 are first and third quartiles for the data. Now we have a problem. The following table gives the frequency distribution of heights of 100 students in a university. Heights in inches. Frequency. First one 60, 62 and that range uh, frequency is 5, 63, 65. Frequency is 18, 66, 68. Frequency is 42, 69, 71, 27. Frequency 72, 74. Frequency 8. Find the quartiles Q1, Q2 and Q3 for the data. Second, B question B. Find its semi interquartile range or quartile deviation. So first we have to find Q1, Q2 and Q3. For that, we have uh, class 60 to 60. The frequency is 5. 63, 65 frequency is 18. 66, 68 frequency is 42. 69, 71 frequency is 27, 72, 74 frequency is 8. Now we have to find the cumulative frequency. So first in the first 5, next 5 plus 18, 23, 23 plus 42, 65, 65 plus 27, 92, 92 plus 800. So Q1, 100 by 4. So 25 comes in this class, 66, 68. And Q2, 50. 50 is also in the same class 66, 68. We have to check the cumulative frequency where it occurs the 25 and 50. So Q1 and Q2 in the class 66, 68. And third quartile, 75. 75 comes in the in 69, 71 class. So that is the Q3 class. Now we have to find Q1, Q2 and Q3. Given n is equal to 100, uh, we can find uh, the adding all frequencies, the value is 100 and n by 4 is equal to 25, 2n by 4 is equal to 50, 3n by 4 is equal to 75. So q1 is equal to l1 plus n by 4 minus m into c by f. This we have already done, this problem is we have already done. l1 is equal to the lower limit of q1 class 60. We have to take the mid middle value of these two values 65 and 66. So 65.5 is L1. N by 4 is equal to 25. M small m is the cumulative frequency of just above the class. So it is 23. C is equal to the class size. So here it is that class is 65.5 to 68.5. So the class uh, m is equal to 3. F is the frequency of the corresponding class which is equal to 42. So Q1 is equal to 65.64. Q2 is equal to L1 plus 2n by 4 minus m into c by f. L1 is equal to 65.5. 2n by 4 is equal to 50 minus 23 into 3 by 42 which is equal to 67.43. Q3 is equal to L1 plus 3n by 4 minus m into c by f. So 68.5 plus 75 minus 65 by 27 into 3 which is equal to 69.61. Now we have to find the semi interquartile range or quartile deviation. By definition q is equal to q3 minus q1 by 2. We got q3 is 69.61 and q1 is 65.64 divided by 2. So the answer is 1.98 inches. Next problem, find the semi interquartile range for the wages of the 65 employees at the PR company. 
so we have the wages in the range 250 to 59.9 number of employees is 8 260 to 69.9 99 the number of employees is 10 270 to 79.99 number of employees is 16 280 to 89.99 number of employees is 14 290 to 99.99 number of employees equal to 10 300 309.99 number of employees is 5 310 319.99 number of employees is equal to 2 so total is total number of employees is equal to 65 so we can write the class frequency and the cumulative frequency classes 250.259.99 frequency for the to find the cumulative frequency we can add the times 8 next in the next frequency 8 plus 10 18 18 plus 16 34 34 plus 14 48 48 plus 10 58 58 plus 5 63 63 plus 2 65 here n is equal to 65 the total frequency then n by 4 is equal to 16.25 that is the first quartile lies in the class 260 to 69.99 and 2n by 4 is equal to 32.4 that is the second quartile 32.5 which is the, cum uh, the cumulative frequency 34 in the 270 to 79.99 class so q2 is the q2 lies in the class 270 to 79.99 and 3n by 4 is equal to 48.75 which lies in the class uh, more than 48 so 290 to 99.99 so we got which is the class it lies now we have to find q1 q2 uh, q1 and q3 to find in the quartile range q1 is equal to the formula is l1 plus n by 4 minus m into c by f which is equal to l1 is 259.995 plus n by 4 is 16.25 the cumulative frequency is just above the class is 8 and the c size is equal to uh, in 10 frequency of the corresponding class is 10 so the value is 268.245 and q3 is equal to l1 plus 3 n by 4 minus m into c by f where l1 is equal to 289.995 3n by 4 48.75 m is equal to 48 the cumulative frequency just above the class into c and f is equal to 10 here so it is value is 290.745 hence semi interquartile range or quartile deviation q is equal to q3 minus q1 by 2 which is equal to 290.745 minus 268.245 by 2 so the value is 11.25 Next problem, find the semi in the quartile range for the following data. Class 150, 153, frequency is 2. 153, 156, frequency is 7. 156, 159, frequency is 24. 159, 162, frequency is 27. 162, 165, frequency is 13. 165, 168, frequency is 3. So that problem you have to do yourself. So the, for find the QD, for that you have to find the cumulative frequency and find Q1 and Q3 and Q is equal to Q3 minus Q1 by 2. Now next portion is the 1090 percentile range. The 1090 percentile range of a data is defined by 1090 percentile range is equal to P90 minus P10 where P10 and P10. 90 are the 10th and 90th percentile for the data. The first problem is the following table table gives the frequency distribution of heights of 100 students in a university. Height in inches 60, 62, 5, 63, 65, 18, 66, 68, 42, 69, 71, 27, 72, 74, 8. Find the 10, 19 percentile range of heights. So class frequency we have to write the cumulative frequency so 5 next is 5 plus 18 23 23 plus 40 42 65 65 plus 27 92 92 plus 800 here n is equal to 100 then n by 100 is equal to 1 
So 10 n by 100 is equal to 10 which lies in the class 6365 and 90 n by 100 is equal to 90 which lies in the 6971 class. Hence P10 is equal to L1 plus 10 n by 100 minus m into c by f which is equal to 62.5 is the lower limit of the class 10 into n 10 n by 100 is equal to 10 minus the frequency cumulative frequency just above the class is 5 and the size 3 size of the class is 3 and the corresponding frequency is 18 so the value is 63.33 now p90 l1 plus 90 n by 100 minus m into c by f which is equal to 68.5 plus 90 minus 65 into 3 by 27 which is equal to 71.28 thus the 1090 percentile range is p90 minus p10 which is equal to 71.2228 minus 63.33 which is equal to 7.95 inches next problem the 10th percentile for home selling prices in a city is rupees 35,500 and the 90th percentile for home selling price in the same universe same city is 2,25,000 find the 1090 percentile range and give a range within which 80 percentage of the selling prices fall here P10 is given us 35,500 and P90 is given us 2,25,000 Hence the 1090 percentile range is P90 minus P10 which is equal to 2,25,000 minus 35,500 which is equal to 1,89,500. Hence we can conclude that 80 percentage of the selling price falls within the range 35,500 and 2,25,000. Next problem the following table gives the frequency distribution of wages of 250 workers in a factory. Verges in rupees is given as 400-500 number of workers is 15, 500, 625, 600, 747, 700, 875, 800, 958 and 900,030. Find the 10th, 9, 10, 9 percentile range of the employees. That problem you can do yourself.